Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. They are trying to move again, yeah, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, Ethereum also turned around where it needed to for making another attempt higher. I did highlight to you the white wave count, direct downside, only confirmed really below 1818. We would need to see a five wave move to the upside really to believe that we have a lasting low in place. Um, with the structure as it is now, I need to see a very similar structure to what we have on the Bitcoin chart. So to put an, a bullish wave count onto the chart, I would need to see a wave one, a wave two. Okay, that's done. I would need to see a third wave. I would need to see a fourth wave and a fifth wave. I highlight that in yellow as well as I did it on the Bitcoin chart. This is really what I would need to see to confirm that uh, Ethereum has formed the lasting low in place. Okay, that, that here you know, on the, that was the 7th of August, a low has been made. Okay. Until then, due to the structure, the way this is looking, I just can't, I just can't confirm it with high likelihood um, because it would have been nice had ETH here pushed higher directly one more high. That was on the 9th of August. It didn't do that. So it failed. It, it rallied only in three waves, came down correctively. So yeah, the potential for another high is certainly there as long as we're holding 1818 as suggested. To get one more high at least, um, I need to see a break above 1870. So I shared that earlier today on Discord and Telegram, the channel members. That, however, could only be, again, another ABC structure, a larger B wave like on the Bitcoin chart. Um, but if we see a wave 4 and a 5, then we can confirm the lowest in, provided we also see an ABC structure to the downside, which looks corrective. So again, that would be another 1-2 setup. That means strategically for me, the way how I approach this is because I did add positions here, you yeah, a few ETH positions, uh, small, one more, you know, one larger one in the yellow box. I will take profit should we go higher. And I won't add anything, not aggressively anyway, um, because we haven't got a clue if it's bottomed or not. It could have, but it will only be clear if we have five waves up and three waves down in a correction that would be the time, in my opinion, to go in more aggressively for the next long trade. Um, better would be to, yeah, I mean, maybe make another high here, but then still to come down and finally get this whole correction done. So on the Bitcoin chart, I'm treating it like my primary wave count is the white one. So basically lower. Now, of course, it could be that it's forming some kind of a high B wave. As long as it's holding 1818, that's absolutely possible. But I don't believe that we get five waves up until I see them. That's how I treat this. Um, the, the white wave count with one more low in the yellow support area is still my leading wave count with a potential that we've bottomed certainly there, um, probably here higher than on the Bitcoin chart, actually. I explained that in previous videos, but still not highly likely until I see it because the rally that occurred of the 7th of August lows was just corrective. So we currently see a few altcoins rally here and there. They're sort in line with my Bitcoin dominance analysis at the moment, so that they could start a little bit of a rally. Um, but we're probably not there yet that, that, you know, that we're really ready for this larger third wave rally that we're waiting for. We are generally bullish on, on Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know that. Um, condition is here that ETH is holding $1,700. There's a lot that can happen here in between on the smallest time frames. Micro support is 1818. Below that level, downside momentum should increase and we could complete this wave two correction. Um, until then, it is possible to get some kind of a higher corrective wave. Um, a break above 1870 is needed to confirm that. And then if it forms after that higher corrective wave, another higher low and a higher high and a three wave correction, we can say, okay, we really bottomed here but it's too early to do that now. And to be honest, all we're seeing is a little bit of green, nothing too crazy. Bitcoin seems a bit stronger than ETH today anyway. That's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.